Well, boys and girls, it's Thursday and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Thank you for sending in any pictures of you doing our crafts and our challenges. We are loving getting to see them and see what you're up to. So yesterday we looked at King David and we found out that it, we all make mistakes, but it's how we deal with those mistakes. And if we ask God for forgiveness, then we can make those mistakes actually into something right and we can learn from them so that we don't do it again. Today, though, we're going to look at a different person. And this person was very, very wise. Now, actually, before I tell you the story, um, I think I'm just going to have some pickled onions here because I'm a little bit hungry. Okay, so I'm just going to open them for you. Oh, it's a wee bit tight, guys. It's a wee bit tight. Hang on. I'll, um, I'll, I'll just get... Oh, I'll use my t-shirt. Right, I'll use my t-shirt. Get a grip of something else here. Let's see. Oh, maybe I'll try the other hand and see if that works. I'm not going to be able to open them, boys and girls. It's far too hard for me to open them. What am I going to have to do in order to open this jar? Yeah, you're right. I'm going to have to ask somebody for help. So if I want to open this and have a little snack, I'm going to have to ask someone for help. And today, boys and girls, we are going to learn about a king who asked for help. He was a very, very wise man. And we are going to look at a person called King Solomon and see how he asked for help in the right way. Sometimes we can ask the wrong people for help, can't we? If I ask someone really weak for help like this, would it help me? If I can't open it, if I ask someone who's not stronger than me, they're still not going to be able to open it either. I'm going to have to ask someone super strong. I'm going to have to ask the right person for this to help me, just like we have to ask the right person for help. So I'm going to let you hear Sarah telling you that story a little bit later on. But for now, I'm going to leave you with Amy and our challenge for today. Hope you all enjoy and see you tomorrow. Hello boys and girls, I hope you have been enjoying our holiday Bible club so far this week. As you can see from Jonathan, I have got him prepared um, ahead of tonight's challenge. So you can see that he's blindfolded and um, hopefully he can't see anything no. at the moment. No. Okay, good. So what Jonathan's going to do is he is actually going to draw something. Um, on his drawing pad here blindfolded and I am going to see if I can guess what it is and then I am going to be blindfolded and I am going to try and draw something um, and Jonathan will guess what it is. So Jonathan without further ado do you want to go on ahead yep. with your drawing? Okay. Now? Yep. Okay. I think I know what it is, but keep going. <laughs> I think that's as much as I can do. Is that you finished? Yep. Okay, I think it is. Can you turn it around so that we can see it up in the correct way up? Ta da. Boys and girls, I think it is an aeroplane. Yes, it's an aeroplane. Okay, Jonathan, take your blindfold off. <laughs> so I'm assuming that these are the windows well that's meant to be the windows they missed the plane but they were meant to be on the plane um, this is the wings and this is the tail so not bad for being very blindfolded good. yes very good okay okay boys and girls so now we've got Amy all blindfolded can you see anything Amy? no I can't see anything sure? yes 100% I don't have my glasses on anyway so. oh true okay <laughs> So now we're going to come down to the pad. Okay, Amy, so uh, can you begin to draw? Okay. Um, okay. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. I think I know what it is. Uh, okay, yep. Hmm. Maybe I'm not sure now. Hmm. Hmm. Uh... 
Oh, okay. I think it's a day at the beach, is it? Yes, it is. So we've got a bucket and a spade and an umbrella. Yep, do you want me to turn it round? Turn it round and we've got a sandcastle. Yes. So there we are. That looks actually perfect. Very well done indeed. Can I take my... You sure you weren't peeking? Oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh -huh. Are you sure you weren't peeking? No, I promise. Promise I wasn't peeking. Definitely not. Okay. So, boys and girls, what we want you to do now is if you get somebody at home to blindfold you and then you pick something you would like to draw and send us a picture of your drawing and then we are going to try and guess what your drawing is. So, if you send them into the Facebook page and then we can have a look at them and try and guess what you have been drawing. So I hope you enjoyed that challenge tonight. I certainly enjoyed it. Jonathan, did you enjoy it as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we'll look forward to seeing what your drawings are. And then, of course, we'll catch up tomorrow for our fifth and final challenge of the week. See you then. Our feet started tapping. Our hands started clapping. Our bodies started dancing before the Lord. Our feet started tapping. Our hands started clapping, our bodies started dancing before the Lord. Come on and dance with joy in your heart. Come on and dance with joy in your heart. Come on and dance with joy in your heart. Everybody dancing for the Lord. Our feet started tapping, our hands started clapping, our bodies started dancing. Solomon. Before I do, I want to ask you a quick question. If the Lord God came to you in a dream and told you that you could have anything that you want, what would you ask for? Today we are going to learn about a man that could have asked for anything he wanted. He was the king of Israel. What do you think he might have asked for? Let's listen to the story and find out. After David died, his son Solomon became king. One night at Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon during the night in a dream, and God said, What would you like me to give you? Solomon answered, You have shown great kindness to your servant, my father David, because he was faithful to you, righteous and honest. You have continued this great kindness to him, and have given him a son to sit on his throne this very day. Now, Lord my God, you have made me king in place of my father David, but I am very young and do not know how to rule over so many people and carry out my duties. I am here among the people you have chosen, a great people, too many to count or number. Please give me the wisdom I need to make the right and true decisions. God was pleased that Solomon had asked for this and had not asked for things for himself. So God said to him, Since you have asked for this and not for long life or wealth 
for yourself, nor have asked for the death of your enemies, but for wisdom. I will do what you have asked. I will give you more wisdom and understanding than anyone has ever had before. Also, I will give you what you have not asked for, both wealth and honour, so that in your lifetime you will have no equal among kings. And if you walk in obedience to me and keep my rules and commands, as David your father did, I will give you a long life. Then Solomon awoke, and he realised it had been a dream. God kept his promise, and Solomon became the wisest of men. But Solomon always remembered that his wisdom came from God. This story tells us that Solomon did not ask for selfish things, but instead he asked for wisdom so that he could be a good king for the people. Wisdom is important when we have to make good choices or when we have to make tough decisions. God doesn't expect us to have all the answers, but if we ask God for wisdom and look for his answers in the Bible, we can make good decisions and good choices and help others too.
Dear God, we thank you for our holiday Bible club this evening, where we have had the chance to learn about King Solomon. We thank you that you are the God of all wisdom and that you are with us when we make decisions in life, big or small. Help us not to take things for granted, but to be thankful for all of the good things you have given us. We ask you to bless those who lead our country and to give them your wisdom and guidance. We pray that they will seek your help when making decisions, particularly as we continue to beat the COVID pandemic. We thank you that you are the God of our past, present and future. Amen.